Yo, 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 what up, legends? Real quick, I want to share with you guys a little hack to improve the quality of your drum brake pads. So, check it out. So, you're going to need two things aside from the brake pads themselves, right? You're going to need something to mark on the pads with. Preferably, what I use is permanent marker, Sharpie, king size marker, whatever you got. Um, next thing, besides the brake pads, is either a file, right? A skinny one, okay? Not a fat one, because we're going to use on this side, right? The edge. Or my preference, personal preference, uh, sawzall blade, right? It can be either a wood blade or a metal blade. Um, I prefer metal blade for this case, so. so. All right, now, as you can see, I got a little bit ahead of myself, or ahead of you guys, rather, I should say. And I went ahead and did it already. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your marking device, right? In my case, Sharpie. Whatever you're using to mark up the pads with, that I told you to grab, right? Remember, do the two tools. And you're going to draw two lines on each pad, right? One right there near the top, one right there near the bottom, each pad. And they're not quite 45 degree angles either. They're more like a 60, if I had to guess. And I want you to notice it's very important that you don't, you're not going to the corners, right? See, there's the corner of the pad. See, I'm a little bit above it. Corner of the pad, grooves a little bit above it. Same with the top group here. Okay, I'm not in the corners. Below or above the corners. Very important. Okay. And then, after you mark him, right, you can grab whichever tool you're using, either file, skinny file, using the edge, right, or in my case, what I used, sawzall blade, metal one, nice and skinny, right, low that, nice and skinny. And you're just going to it's all the way at it, right? All the way down now. Some of that, get rid of some of that there pad up in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you can see how far I actually cut into these things. I actually went all the way down to the metal part of the shoe. Took out all that little chunk of pad there, so. Went down to bare metal. And that's how far you guys should go to if I had any suggestions. What this does, I'm not sure if it's the only reason why it improves the quality of your stopping power with these drum brake pads by doing this um, is it allows for a cooling effect. Um, so obviously you don't have as much surface area to grab onto so you would think well that doesn't make no sense but it allows for that little bit of air to pass through there to cool down the pads and the drum just that much more to help out with stopping power a little bit more. So that's really it guys just carving two grooves in your drum brake pads. No more than two and don't start at the corners. All right. That's it. Drum break hack. Stay legendary, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.